Hello Physics Nation, my name is Nate Larmond, and I'd like to do an exercise where we just go to Schoology, our learning management system, and you know, pretend we were absent and see does this platform just walk us through the learning exercise? Are these instructions intuitive? Um, can I do, you know, some performance and upload the artifact? So let's check it out. Let's go to Schoology and you click on courses. Here's AP Physics 1. Here's the Zoom meeting you missed, or iTeams, or whatever we go with, Google Meet. Here are the resources, extensive resources. Students usually don't care. They're more interested in, what do you want from me? You know. So here are the assignments, the little blue pieces of paper with the pencil. They're assignments. You're gonna upload something, some artifact of your performance, like I said. And here's assignment number one, the name game. Hmm. Mute and unmute. Right. So we're going to be in video conferences and it's tricky. One person gets the floor at a time. So when I call on you, you hit the little microphone icon and you unmute yourself and you have the floor. I want to hear your voice on the first day, hopefully within the first you know five or 10 minutes. Anyway, let's read these instructions. <laughs> oh, we're going to do a verbal performance, right? And we're going to record it using Screencastify. Wow, that's kind of ambitious. So we're going to learn this trick in video conferences. Then we're going to do a verbal performance and record it. Well, wow, that's, that's like three skills right there. So. The name game is a classic icebreaker and has been making students feel recognized, included, and stressed out for many years in my classroom. I've never played the name game in a digital conference, but let's see how it works. So student one says their name and their hobby. So here's Dominic, he's on swim team. He likes to swim. And the secret to the name game is playing uh, a visualization trick. It's called Palace of the Mind. Imagine you're going to a house party or a palace and there's a pool in the front yard and Dominic is swimming in the pool. Okay, you got this picture painted in your mind. It's called the Palace of the Mind. Well, here's student number two. Let's see what um, student two says. Let me highlight my mouse. Student two says student one's name and hobby and then introduces themselves and describes their hobby. Oh, okay, so she says, Dominic is on swim team and I'm Rihanna and I volunteer at an animal shelter. Okay, so we got Dom on the swim team. Remember, we're going to a house party, going to this palace. Dom's in the pool in the front yard. Rihanna is, uh, you know, feeding a starving kitty or something like that next to the pool. You got to paint the picture in your mind. Here we go. Yoshi. Yoshi is student three, and Yoshi will say, Dominic is on swim team. Rihanna volunteers at the animal shelter, and I'm Yoshi, and I like to... Um, I don't know, pour concrete. Yoshi wants to be a contractor and, you know, build houses or sidewalks or whatever. So Yoshi likes to pour concrete. So Yoshi is fixing up the, the sidewalk at this house party, all right? Yoshi's pouring concrete. I'm student four. Okay, so I have to say, Dom is on swim team, Rihanna volunteers at the animal shelter, and Yoshi is pouring concrete. And I am Mr. Larmond, and I like to play music. And that's what this graphic is all about. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And it's a really famous mathematical pattern. We'll get to all of that. Um, that's what this class is all about, mathematical patterns. So the trouble is if you're absent for the name game, like you blew it. The whole point of the name game is to see your classmates face hear them speak their name. So you repeat the correct pronunciation of your classmate's name. And hopefully, uh, you know, learn a little bit about them, learn uh, about what they're curious about and maybe where they're going. Uh, usually people drift towards what they're good at. And so you get to meet your classmates. And like I said, speak their name. If you're in business or sales or marketing, this is a really classic trick. In the first five seconds when you introduce yourself, you say, you know, the person you're looking at's name. You make eye contact, handshake, say their name. So this is a trick used in all sorts of contexts. Uh, the second half is just about Screencastify. So you're going to say everybody's name and hobby, and you're going to download this little Chrome extension and 
maybe I'll make a separate video about how to make a Screencastify video, but they're all over the internet. It's really easy. Just download the extension and start messing with it. It'll load to your school Google Drive, and then you're going to hit the little submit button up here. I'm a teacher. I don't have the submit button, but you're going to hit the little submit button. Oh, don't forget to go to resources, apps, add Google Drive as one of your resources. Once you've done that, you just check the little box next to the video you recorded that Screencastify put in there, and it uploads the video. Uh, <laughs> that's what's supposed to happen anyway. Sounds complicated, but you guys are the you know digital generation. I'm, I'm sure you're more literate with all this stuff than I am. Anyway, we're going to take it one step at a time, and hopefully I'll see your bright, shining faces, and um, we'll memorize everybody's first name and hobby while playing the name game. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.